You're first. You repeat after me. I, Alex, take you, my lady, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, and poorer, in sickness and in health, to love, to cherish, to adapt to the spark. In the presence of God, this love to you. Words come from God, they're driven by God, and they brought us here today. A few simple I love to you write that they now become an outward proclamation of your love. And that's the beauty of marriage, that's the beauty of vow. And right now we walk by faith. Someday I marry my best friend, our bond is complete and has no end. We share one soul, we share one heart, a perfect time, a perfect start. With these rings you're about to put on, we share together forever a love so close. This special day, two special hearts, let nothing keep this, this love apart. Today, you marry your best friend. Your bond is complete. It hath no end. We share one soul. We share one heart. A perfect time, a perfect start. With these rings we share together, love so close that will last forever. This special day, two special hearts. Again, let nothing keep this love apart. Before we do the rings, I thought we would bring in a little Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss, the great theologian, says this. People are weird. And when we find someone with weirdness that is compatible with ours, we team up and we call it love. Oh. Oh. So today we found a team and we're going to team up and call it love, right? So right now we're going to get the ring bearer to come up. Got him? You guys ready for some rings? are the, my favorite part. I love the vow. 
clouds, but the rings say something. Right now that you have those rings, you forsake all 7.5 billion other people. And he says, she's mine, and she says, he's mine. Everybody else, I'm gonna say, chale, but you don't say that at a wedding, so. So, as we have these rings and we've said some vows, now we come to the end. And what we wanna do is we wanna do a candle ceremony. So, hopefully you guys got good prayers that we can light this candle. So it's gonna work. So I'm gonna step out of the way, and while you guys light it, I have these two, if not. Okay. But I'm gonna step out and let you guys do it, and I'll read through this. Right? The unity candle is two now burned for one. These two separate candles symbolize separate lives, separate families, and separate sets of friends. As they light the candle, they make it the center of their life. Individual candles represent the life they had before, but the end of the single candle is the life that they will have. They will join in one life, representing joining two families and sets of friends to one. Now that you have lit this candle, hopefully, that fire that you lit should not go out. It might go out here, but it won't go out in your heart. The two of you have a fire that represents love, understanding, and understanding, and the philosophy of life. And that fire represents the love that God brings into our heart. about the heat of the fire is this if you have fire it gives you heat it, it, it helps you with food it brings warmth and it makes happiness the fire represents a new beginning a new life and a new family and for these two this fire represents healing and forgiveness and restoration you have the fire lit for your life until the old age separates you and right now, I'm just gonna pray for them. and we praise you and we thank you for this amazing couple and we pray that this fire represents their life with you and I pray that it represents all the good things that you are going to start right now in this marriage may today be a bigger blessing than they ever imagined and may your love Lord guide them to greater heights than they've ever experienced we thank you for what you've done in this couple Amen By the authority of California, by the authority from God, and by my uh, my love for these two, it's my opportunity to now let you kiss the bride first. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever, Mr. and Mrs. Bolano. Woo! <laughs> Let's stand up.